Assalamu alaikum students, how is you all? I hope that you all are doing great. Welcome to your channel Maths D1 D2 Scientific Academy. Okay, G, today our lecture is related to chapter 3 which is basic algebra and algebraic manipulation. In new book is chapter 3 but in old book is chapter 4. Okay, G. Uh, so I'm going to explain you question number 1 and uh, the first part is 1 by 4x plus 1 by 5y minus 1 by 6x minus 1 by 10. 1 by 10 y okay exercise is 3 c in uh, old book it's 4 c okay G. now what you need the very first step what you need to do is write like terms together okay G. this is x term and this is x term so i'm going to write them together as 1 by 4 x don't forget to write the sign of that term which is minus minus 1 by 6 x okay G. i have written the x terms now i'm going to write y terms these are also like terms this is y term and this is y term these two are the like terms so I'm going to write them together because remember that we can just solve like terms together. We cannot solve like terms with the unlike terms. Okay, G. So uh, that's why we write like terms together to solve them. Okay, G. now I'm going to write y term. This is plus 1 by 5y minus 1 over 10y. Okay, G. now I'm going to solve it. First I will solve x term. These two are the x terms. Here we can see that these two are the fractions. And in between the fraction there is a minus sign so whenever you are having fractions and between the fraction there is a minus sign or plus sign so you have to take the LCM of the denominators so here I'm going to take the LCM of 4 and 6 okay 4 and 6 this is rough work 2 2s are 4 2 3s are 6 2 1s are 2 and 3 1s are Three. Now multiply these numbers to get the LCM to 2s are 4, 4, 3s are 12. It means that the LCM is 12. Now you will see the denominators. Which time 4 is 12? It's 3 times and multiply the numerator with 3. 4, 3s are 12. In the same way, which time 6 is 12? It's 2 times and multiply the numerator with 2. 6, 2s are 12. Now I will multiply the numerators. 3, 1s are 3. 3x three minus 2, 1s are 2. It's 2x. In the same way, I will solve these two fractions. Here, you, these are the fractions. Between the fraction, there is a minus sign. So, it means that I have to take the LCM of the denominator. So, the denominators are 5 and 10. So, I am going to take their LCM. 5 and 10. 2 5s are 10 and 5 1s are 5. 2 5s are 10. It means the LCM is 10. Okay, now you, we will see the denominators. Which time 5 fits 10? It's 2 times or multiply the numerator with 2. 5, 2s are 10. And which time this 10 is this 10? 10, 1s are 10. So I'll multiply the numerator with 1. Okay, 10, 1s are 10. And 5, 2s are 10. Now I'll multiply the numerators. 2, 1s are 2y. Minus 1, 1s are 1y. Now we'll solve them. 3 minus 2x. 3x minus 2x. 3 minus 2 is 1. So it is just 1 is left. And the denominator I'm having 12. So 1 over 12. And the variable is x. So I'm writing x over here. In the same way, 2y minus 1y. 2 minus 1 is 1. Denominator is 10. And the variable is y. So 1 over 10y. We cannot solve these two terms together because these are the unlike terms. This is x term and this is y term. So these are not like terms. These are unlike terms. So we will not uh, solve them. And we cannot solve them. So this is the, your answer. I hope that this is clear to you. Okay, Jim. Now I'm going to explain you B part. Okay, G B part is 2 by 3A minus 1 by 7B plus 2A minus 3 by 5B. Again, the very first step is write like terms together. So this is A term and this is A term. So I'm going to write them together because these are like terms plus 2A. In the same way, I will write B terms together because these are like terms. This is B term and this is B term. Those, those both are B terms. So I'm going to write them together. B terms mean that they are having B variable. Here there is nothing in the denominator so I can put 1. Here you can see that we are having fractions and between the fraction there is a plus sign. It means that I will take the LCM of the denominator. So when I will take the LCM of 3 and then I will get 3. Remember that I will just solve like terms together. I will solve these terms and these terms together. Okay, these A terms and these B terms together. First I will, I'm solving, right now I'm solving A terms. Okay, these are like terms. Okay, G. Now, which time 3 is 3, it's 1 times, so I'll multiply the numerator with 1. 3 1s are 3. 
and which time 1 is 3, 3 times and multiply the numerator with 3, 1, 3 is are 3. Now I'll multiply the numerators to 1 is are 2a plus 2, 3 is are 6, a. So here we are done till here. Now in the same way I will take the LCM of these denominators. Again these are fractions between the fraction there are minus sign, there is minus sign. So it means I will take the LCM of the denominators. So here I am going to take the LCM of 7 and 5. 7 and 5. These are the denominators. 5 1s are 5. And 7 by the 7. 5 7s are 35. So here the LCM is 35. Now see the denominators and see which time they are 35. Now which time 7 is 35. Um, 7 5 is 35. So I'll multiply the numerator with 5. In the same way, which time 5 is 35, it's 7 times, I will multiply the numerator with 7. Okay, G. Now I'm going to multiply the numerators. 5 1s are 5B. Minus 7s are 21. Okay, dear students, I missed one thing over here that while solving this sum, remember that there was a minus sign outside the bracket. So whenever we open the bracket, we change the signs in the same way. When we close the bracket, we change the signs. Here, this is separate fraction. So I need to write it in the bracket. So I'm going to write it like this. But what I will do is there's a minus sign and when I'm closing it, I will change the sign which is inside the bracket. So this minus will become plus. And 21 plus 5 will be 26. Okay, G. So here 8 over 3a minus 26 over 35b is your answer. I hope that you are clear till here. I am again telling you remember that whenever there is a minus sign outside the bracket. I have separated these two terms. I have separated the terms of B and I am going to solve them together. It means that I need to write them in the bracket. So when I will close the bracket there is a minus sign outside the bracket. So it means that I need to close the bracket and when I will close the bracket I will change the sign which is inside the bracket. Here you can see that there was a minus sign in, over here. So there was a minus sign with 21b. So when I closed it, I changed the sign and that minus sign will become has become plus sign. So here I have put plus sign and 21 plus 5 is 26. So 8 over 3a minus 26 over 35b is your answer. I hope that now you are cleared. Okay, G, now let's come to C part. Okay, G, part C is 5 by 9c plus 3 over 4d minus 7 over 8c minus 4 over 3d. Okay, the very first step is write like terms together. So this is C term and this is C term. Both are like terms, so I'm going to write them together. In the same way, I'm writing D terms together because these both are like terms. Minus 4 over 3. Okay, what I did is I have written uh, the like terms together like this and like this. Okay, again, you're having fraction between the fraction there. Are, there's a minus sign. So what you need to do is you have to... Take the LCM. Okay, remember that you can uh, write the terms in the bracket here like this. Like this. Because these are like terms, we have to separate them. So we can put the brackets to separate them. Okay, now I have to take the LCM of the denominators 9 and 8. The denominators are 9 and 8. So I'm going to take the LCM of 9 and 8. 2 4s are 8. 2 2s are 4. 2 1s are 2. And then 9 is left. 3 3s are 9. And 3 1s are 3. Now I'll multiply these numbers to get the LCM. 2 2s are 4. 4 2s are 8. 8 3s are 24. And 24 3s are 72. Yes. So the LCM is 72. Okay. G. Which time 9 is now see the denominators. Which time 9 is 72. 9 8s are 72. So I'll multiply the numerator with 8. In the same way, which time 8 is 72, it's 9 times, I'll multiply the numerator with 9. Okay, now I'll multiply the numerators, 5 are 40, 40C, 40 minus 7, 9s are 63, 63C. Okay, in the same way, I will solve this bracket, here it is plus sign. In the denominator, there are 4 and 3, so I have to take the LCM of 4 and 3. Okay, 2 2s are 4. 2 1s are 2 and 3 1s are 3. Now see, 2s are 4, 4 3s are 12. LCM is 12. Now see the denominators. Which time 4 is 12, it's 3 times. So I'll multiply the numerator with 3. And which time 3 is 12, it's 4 times. So I'll multiply the numerator with 4. 3 4s are 12. Okay, G. So now I'm going to multiply the numerators. 3 3s are 9, 90. 
minus for 4 is 16, 16B. Okay, remember that here in between there was a plus sign. So when I close the brackets, I didn't change the sign. Remember that whenever there is a minus sign in between and when you close the bracket, then you have to change the signs which are inside the bracket. Here there was a plus sign, so I didn't change the sign inside the bracket. Okay, now I will solve it. Plus minus is minus. It means I have to subtract 40 from 63. I have to do the subtraction. And when I will subtract 63 minus 40 will be 23. And I have to write the sign of the bigger number which is minus. So minus 23 denominator is 72. And the variable is C. Now I have solved the bracket. Now I will not put the bracket. In the same way here this is plus sign. Plus minus is minus. I will subtract 9 from 16. And I will get 7. And I have to write the sign of the bigger number which is minus. So minus 7 over 12. D. Here you can see that these two signs are coming together so I will multiply them. Minus 23 over 72 C plus minus is minus 7 over 12 D. So this is your answer. I hope that this is clear to you. Okay G. Now let's come to the last part of this question. Okay, G, D part is 2F minus 5 by 3H plus 9 by 4K minus 1 over 2F minus 28 over 5K plus 5 over 4H. Again, the very first step is write like terms together. So, I'm writing F term. First F term, 2F minus 1 over 2F. There are two F terms. So, 2F and minus 1 over 2F. Okay, G, I will put the bracket because I have to solve them together. Uh, now I will write h term, there are two h terms, 5 over 3h here in between is minus sign. Remember that there is a minus sign outside the bracket, so the signs inside the bracket will be changed. 5 by 3h plus 5 by 4h. Here there was a minus sign outside the bracket and I am closing the bracket, it means that the sign which is inside the bracket will be changed. This is minus, so it will also become minus. Okay, 5 by 3h minus 5 by 4h. I have changed the sign of this term because there was a minus sign outside the bracket. And if I am closing the bracket, I have to change the sign because there is a minus sign outside the bracket. In the same way, write k term which is plus here in between now it is plus. 9 over 4k minus 28 over 5k. Okay, now I will solve them together. Remember that here this is there is nothing in the denominator so the denominator over here is 1 you are having fractions and between the fraction there is a minus sign so it means that you have to take the LCM of the denominators when you will take the LCM you will get 2 now see the denominators this time 1 it's 2 it's 2 times or multiply the numerator with 2 now in the same way this time 2 is 2 it's 1 times or multiply the numerator with 1 so now 2 2s are 4 and minus 1 1 are 1 now over here in between there is a minus sign I am going to take the LCM of 3 and 4 here I am taking it to 2's are 4 to 1's are 2 and 3's are 3 now to 2's are 4 for 3's are 12 LCM is 12 ok G. now see the denominators ok this time 3 is 12 it's 4 times or multiply the numerator with 4 3 4's are 12 now see this 4, which time 4 is 12, it's 3 times and multiply the numerator with 3. 4 3's are 12. Now multiply the numerators, 5 4's are 20h. Minus 5 3's are 15h. In the same way, we will take the LCM of 4 and 5 over here in the denominator. The denominators are 4 and 5 and 2's are 4, 2 1's are 2 and 5 1's are 5. So, 2 2s are 4, 4 5s are 20. It means that the LCM is 20. Okay, G. Now, see the denominators. Which time 4 is 20, it's 5 times. So, multiply the numerator with 5. 4 5s are 20. And which time 5 is 20, it's 4 times. So, multiply the numerator with 4. Okay, G. Now, we'll multiply the numerators. 5 9s are 45k. Minus 28 4s are I am using calculator to multiply it. 28 fours are 112. 112k. Now we will solve them. Here plus minus is minus. So 4 minus 1 is 3. Denominator is 2. So 3 over 2f. In the same way, 
20 minus 15. When I will subtract 15 from 20, I will get 5. Denominator is 12, so 5 over 12 h. In the same way, plus minus is minus. So this plus sign will come over here and this plus minus is minus. So it will come 45 minus 112 will be minus 67. I have to write the sign of the bigger number which is minus and when I will subtract I will get 67. 67 over 20 k. Here you can see that these two signs are coming together so I will multiply them. 3 over 2 f minus 5 over 12 h plus minus is minus 67 over 20 k. This is your answer. I hope that is clear to you. Okay, ji, I hope that all parts of question number one are clear to you. Uh, take very good care of yourself and thank you very much. Allah Hafiz.